Hey guys, it's uh, Tomb Review Games or Adam and Season 5 is a week away and so far we've gotten a ton of leaks regarding the location, the theme, and of course the tier 100 skin. So I'll be going over all of that in today's video. So one quick thing before we jump into today's video, for those of you who ended up winning my June giveaway, and I'll throw all the names on the screen right now, there's still a couple of people who have not claimed their prize. To do that, all you have to do is go ahead and send me a DM here on YouTube and you can claim your prize. So let's start off with the least exciting things first. The things that people don't really care about and then we'll get into the things that are really juicy. So the first thing is the contrails. We have a bunch of new contrails confirmed and I don't know how many of you guys actually care about these things. Personally I don't but there are six that were leaked from the game file so it's all but confirmed and the six new contrails are stars and stripes of course for the 4th of July. Then we have Toilet Paper, Glitchin, Vines, uh, Golden Starfish, and Ice. So, you know, again, Contrails or whatever, these look okay. Personally, I'm not going to use them, so I don't care. But let's get into the really juicy info regarding Season 5. So, what's the theme for Season 5? This is a big one because with every Battle Pass, we've had a theme, right? For Season 3, we had the Astronauts. For our current season, Season 4, we have Superheroes. Heroes, what is it going to be for Season 5? And it looks like it's going to be either a time travel theme or a history theme. Because we're about to talk about a bunch of locations that are going to replace current locations on the map and each of these locations are from a different period of time which would really point towards that time travel slash history theme that is going to be season five the fortnite map is about to get a massive facelift because we're gonna have a bunch of different themes in fortnite and it's gonna be a big change because right now the map is pretty believable right it's kind of like a a regular island with a with a with a bunch of different areas that kind of you know Coexist, right? It makes sense that these places are on the map, but it's about to change, right? The themes are going to be massively different from one another. So the first one we have is Lonely Lodge is going to turn into Jurassic Jungle. And like that right there is a, a big jump. So Lonely Lodge is going to be a jungle. Apparently we're going to have like a bunch of dinosaurs in there as well. It sounds cool. It sounds interesting. Next up we have the motel and that's going to be kind of like this wild west town and you kind of see the whole history thing coming in so we have the dinosaur area now we have a wild west area so you have these massive jumps from one theme to another theme as you go from area to area on the map so the next place is going to have a massive facelift is going to be the largest soccer field we have right now that celebrates the world cup that's going to be taken out and replaced with a massive pyramid and that's going to kind of be a egyptian themed area Area. And another thing that sounds really cool and it kind of works with a lot of the other leaks we've had, the loading screen, all that stuff. There's so many rumors that there is going to be kind of like an Egyptian skin in this season. So that does make sense. And again, it, it sounds cool being able to go inside a pyramid and, and loot. That sounds really awesome. Uh, the next one is Moisty Mire. And this one is going to be replaced by uh, Pirate's Point. So a pirate themed area. I'm sure there'll be, there'll be ships and there's going to be like, uh, you know, treasures and all that stuff. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. And the one thing I'm wondering, though, is after the end of Season 5, what are they going to do next? Are they going to keep all these crazy themed areas? It's such a massive change, right? You're going from Jurassic Jungle to the Wild West to Pyramids to Pirates, like crazy themes going on will it all go back or will this stay on the map forever so next up we have another area that's being changed and that is a lucky landing i'm actually surprised that lucky is still in the game because that was a holiday themed area added in and we still have it in the game at the beginning of july but that will be replaced with a uh, captive castle so a medieval themed area on the map it's gonna be a castle with a whole bunch of walls around the castle surrounding it so it's going to be like a legit fortress and again it, it sounds cool it sounds awesome but we're gonna have to see how all this plays out when it's all added into the game so that's not it we still have more areas on the map that we still don't know what it's gonna be just because these areas have kind of had these portals or these tears appear at them so 
Tomato Town and Retail Row are still going to have something happen there because the reason why we know like Lonely Lodge and of course the motels are going away is just because of those tears that appear there when the rocket launched and Tomato and Retail recently had those tears appear there and man when you really think about all of this the entire map is getting a serious overhaul and I love Retail Row I don't want Retail to go away so I'm really curious to see what's gonna go at Tomato and what's gonna go with Retail Row and who knows guys maybe every location on the map is going to just disappear and we'll have a brand new map we'll kind of have the same shape of a map but each location will be completely different in season 5 so next up we have something that really isn't a major thing but it's really interesting and I want to talk about it animals being added into Fortnite and right now the Fortnite map or the Fortnite world is I don't want to say like too static but it is kind of static there's not much really going on it's not really alive you, know, you have vegetation of course you might have something like butterflies at Lonely Lodge I have no idea but having animals on the map kind of make the map more alive more dynamic and apparently each themed area will have its own unique animals so obviously a place like Jurassic Jungle would obviously have dinosaurs uh, a place like the Wild West would obviously have to have horses um, Moisty Mire, or I should say Pirate's Point, would have something like monkeys, and of course Haunted Hills would have bats. We don't know exactly how interactive the animals will be. Maybe they'll just kind of stand there and kind of move around, or maybe they'll actually move around the map and they'll be a hazard. We don't know, but animals being added to Fortnite is a really interesting thing. So next up, let's go over some of the Season 5 skins we might see within the Battle Pass, because this is the one thing we really want to know about, is what kind of skins, what's going to be that Tier 100 skin. But let's start off with talking about the Tier 1 skin, and it apparently is going to be an Indiana Jones themed tier one skin and again guys keep in mind this is just a leak we don't know if this is a hundred percent but an Indiana Jones a tier one skin makes a lot of sense and it kind of fits in with this whole theme now if this is one of the tier one skins one thing I really hope they do is they have a second evolving customizable tier one skin like we saw here in season four I don't know how you could evolve or customize an Indiana Jones themed skin so this could act like the battle hawk skin and then have a second skin in that tier one spot like the carbide skin where you can rank it up and you can evolve the skin add new armor sets to that skin and of course once you max out that armor set you can go ahead and customize that that skin and do whatever you want with it and one thing I really want them to do is kind of grow the customization for the skins not just have different colors but different things you can do with the skin that would be really really awesome maybe not just for tier 1 uh, and tier 100 have it for all the other skins as well so next up let's talk about the tier 100 skin and apparently the skin is going to be called the flying dutchman for those that don't know what the flying dutchman is it's kind of like this ghost pirate ship legend myth type thing and obviously the skin won't be a pirate ship it's probably gonna be a pirate which does add up with you know pirates point if that actually does replace moisty Meyer. so having a pirate themed skin in the battle pass makes perfect sense and to be honest with you I don't care what the tier 100 skin is as long as we can you know customize the skin as long as the skin evolves like the Omega it's all good also one little bit of good news for those of you who are still grinding away on the season 4 or a battle pass and you haven't unlocked all the tiers or you're still grinding for the Omega armor there's some good news the season 4 battle pass has been actually extended for two more days and the season 5 battle pass has been kind of delayed by a couple of days so normally the season 4 battle pass is going to end on the 9th of July now it's going to end on the 12th and those two days have already been added to the battle pass on the main menu so we have a little more time to finish all the tiers and unlocks in season four so it looks like season five is going to be just another regular season except we're going to have a massive map overhaul that goes along with it and i'm really curious to see how all of this turns out we really haven't had a crazy map overhaul here in fortnite we've had new locations get dropped in into open areas but we really haven't had 
OG old locations like Tomato Town, Lonely Lodge, Retail Row, uh, you know, Moisty Meyer get completely replaced. And I guess the real question is, how many locations will get changed? Is it going to be the entire map? Or is it only going to be some of these really old OG locations that disappear? But of course, guys, at the end of the day, these are just leaks. We don't know how much of this information is accurate, but it seems like a lot of people are buying into this. And I'm sure at least some of this stuff is going to actually happen in game. But we're going to find out in like seven days. And I'm so excited. So besides that, guys, enjoy the video. Drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.